Hi everyone and welcome to this pick a card reading on the topic of what's coming in the next six months. So this year's going rapidly as we know time's speeding up so it's just incredible how quickly we're we suddenly landed in July so I thought it'd be nice for us all to look at what's going to be coming up for the rest of the year and going into 2020 so I hope you enjoy this one we could also call it what will I manifest in the next six months so you can choose your perspective but remember that that is actually what's going to create what comes for us in the next six months so focus on that focus on what you want to manifest and where you feel you'd like direction and um, you know what's going to bring you the most fortune and success and direction what's going to be most in alignment with your higher self's will for you and um, the other thing I wanted to say is thank you so much to everyone who commented on the daily guidance messages I really appreciated that you're all so amazing and I've stopped doing those for now I said I was going to post 222 but I don't actually think it's for the overall best good because it just wasn't really working for the channel so uh, there are about 130 there now so please feel free to go back and use those as your own divination tool so let's carry on with this pick a card reading so choose a number one two three or four and we'll get started okay so if you picked pile number one the angel message that I've got for you is kindness so I think immediately this group is a group that needs to be very kind and very gentle with themselves we'll leave that as an overall thought so it's possible that this group is very directed very focused very been very motivated and possibly quite concerned that maybe they haven't achieved the results so far that they'd hoped to achieve this year because when I pulled that out I immediately felt ask them to be gentle with themselves ask them not to push themselves quite so hard it's really good to be focused and to know what you want to achieve and to know what you're going for but you also need to take time to be gentle and we've got throat chakra we've got spiritual strength we've got authority suffering su suffering in silence simplify your life so throat chakra there's something that you need to speak about there's something that you need to express something that's not going quite right for you in terms of feeling motivated and feeling that you can move ahead in your life something that's stopping you something that's blocking you possibly something that you've been through that has actually brought you a great deal of strength spiritually but for some reason you're still not feeling that you've had the results in your life that you would have liked so it's been a tricky time and it's been a time of a great deal of learning and a great deal of strengthening and I feel that what's going to be happening over the next six months or so is that because of everything that you've learned you're going to be actually coming into a position of greater authority. It's almost as if someone's had authority over you until recently and you're just waking up now to all the lessons that you've learned from this experience and figuring out how to move forward so I feel coming into this period suffering in silence this is all to do with the present to do with what's happening now so you've been going through a lot of struggles that you couldn't actually share with anyone else and that goes with throat chakra as well not being able to express things not being able to explain things in a way that other people would necessarily understand it could be that you've been going through a dark night of the soul a deep spiritual awakening or some kind of difficult situation because you do have this card of authority which seems to be you know in this particular deck it's someone who is just is very strong or could almost be controlling in the wrong circumstances so for some of you you've come through a time when you've had to turn the tables on that and make uh, turn yourself transform yourself into the person who has that kind of authority over your life and to stop suffering in silence you might have had to make big changes in your life that have caused you to simplify things, to move away from a situation that might have offered you a lot more, might have been more um, involved, more interesting, maybe more secure in some ways, but 
when it comes down to it, your heart didn't feel secure. So you've had to move away from that and simplify things, simplify your life, simplify your needs, simplify your expression as well, clarify your expression so that you can really come into that place of personal authority and be fully yourself. And there is no price for that. Now you're being asked to let yourself receive. Let yourself receive from people around you who love you, who support you. Um, come into this time of empowerment. Let go of the past and you will start to see that you have not lost any of your ability to manifest, to create whatever you want, which is wonderful. So if you've come here thinking, I've just made this huge change, I've got no idea what's ahead, I don't know what's going to happen next, how am I going to be able to do what all the things that I'm thinking of, I feel like a lot of you will have dreams and goals and, and things that will help you to turn this situation around. It's almost like you're on a mission to prove yourself now, to prove that you can do it, that you are, you know, the person that you, you always thought you were, that you're strong and capable and that you can turn around some of this pain and suffering and create something amazing out of it and you absolutely can and you're being reminded to be kind to yourself in terms of the way you speak to yourself as well so you need to speak to yourself with gentleness with positivity taking on board all the things that you've learned and and looking at it from the perspective of what an incredible person those things make me rather than oh my god I failed at this I failed at that this didn't work that didn't work that all of those struggles and all of those awakenings of, and all of those situations of conflict or feeling in, uh, misunderstood or having to work on yourself in, in silence, in secret, whatever, all of that stuff makes you amazing. And now that you've come through all of that and you're coming into this place of real empowerment, I mean, look at that empowerment on top of the emperor. That's just incredible. That's double affirmation. You will, once again, be able to be the divine manifesto that you've always been. You've got from the colour cards the secret language of colour. Be spontaneous and have fun. So this is all, a lot of this really is, the message is very much the same. Be spontaneous and have fun. Be kind to yourself. Trust this process. Create a balanced life. So if you've become a workaholic because you're thinking, I've got to make up for lost time. I've got so much to do. There's so much I need to get control of. There's so much I need to fix. There's so much I need to build. Build in time to look after yourself, time to have some fun, because sometimes when we go off and we have fun and we let go of the reins for a while, we get even more inspiration and creativity coming through that allows us to actually build something more meaningful. And in fact, sometimes when we stop for a while, we go faster when we return, because you're not flogging a dead horse, you're not pushing yourself past the point of where it's productive for you to be pushing yourself. So remember to take time to relax, to have fun and to just sort of detach a little bit from everything that you're achieving. It's here. You're going to be able to do it. You will be able to do it. And this is really, in this case, for this group, more than any other group. Well, I don't know what the others say yet, but because we've had this um, sense of taking back your authority of empowerment and I said at the beginning that it was about what you're going to manifest in the next six months I feel that probably more than for the other groups it is very much about what you are going to make happen and it's just affirmation to remind you to trust that you are capable of manifesting what you've set out to and look at that you've got the ace of Ariel which is the ace of pentacles and it says it's your lucky day new resources of money, time or support, a change of job, a promotion. So whether it's actually starting something of your own or working for someone else, it looks as if you've got really good success coming and your focus is over the next six months for this group much more on career and finances than on relationships or anything else um, of an emotional nature. You've got the Knight of Michael, which is the Knight of Swords. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. So this is referring to a situation that you might have experienced recently where you had to just cut and run and just think, OK, I really need to make some changes here. I need to make things move. I need to 
bring things um, into alignment with who I really am. I need to go in a new direction. It could have been letting go of an old job that just didn't fulfill you anymore, that just didn't work. And it could have been a relationship that was very controlling, very restricting, which, which either, uh, whichever of those applies, just accept that. But um, you're coming into a phase now where, you know, when you do start to get things in balance and allow yourself the flexibility and the time to relax and get things back um, to a place where you're not just focusing on pushing and pushing and pushing, things will start to move very quickly. It's perfect. It's ex exactly what we said before. So just trust that process. You've got the Seven of Swords. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So it's possible that actually in this time when you move away from being so focused and um, goal-oriented and single-minded, if you step back, you might actually see that there are people that you could collaborate with or one person that you could collaborate with. And I feel it's really important for you in those times when you, whether it's going out and having fun, seeing people that you love or meditating or just going for a walk, in those times it's really important for you to open up, breathe, relax and let the inspiration come through and be open to trusting and, and maybe collaborating with someone else because this group feels as if you could have been quite shut down in recent years and it feels like it could be about a year and a half, possibly two years or so, that things, it's like the walls close in and you just start to feel your life becoming smaller and smaller and you put up with it and you suffer in silence and then eventually you just think, oh, that's it, I can't do this anymore. So your final, oh my goodness, <laughs> I can't believe that. Final card is justice, absolutely perfect. It's the only major arcana that you've got and this is the... Um, it's an angel oracle uh, tarot, but it still, you know, has equivalences in the traditional tarot. And you've got justice, which basically means that you will actually get the result that you're hoping for. Just don't give up. Just keep going on the path that you're on. And over the next six months to a year, I'm hearing. So it might take longer than six months for the entire process to unfold into the completion of the success that you're looking for. But if you stay focused and if you stay balanced and give yourself some time off and breathe and have fun, accept the love and support that's coming in to help you to rebuild, you will ultimately have the outcome that you're hoping for. I feel like I want to pick one more card from that deck. Oh, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Things are about to turn in your favour. It's time for a new beginning. Time, it's long overdue, this new beginning. And I feel that because it's it's so perfect that it happens now. It's as if all these great things have been lined up for you and they've been waiting for you to step into the right energy, the right place of freedom or independence or whatever it is, empowerment, strength, authority, and they're just going to start falling into place. The wheel is going to start turning again. So it's possible that you've actually felt quite stagnant for a long time as well. Not just not just restricted, but also just like nothing's happening, nothing's moving, nothing I do works out. That's all about to change over the next six months or so. So if you have made a change recently, just trust that you've made the right change and trust that if you continue to focus on it, put the effort in, you will get the results you want. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that number one. Let's move on to group number two. Okay, group number two, your angel card angel message is expectancy. <gasps> That's amazing. Okay, so the first thing that comes to mind is you're waiting to birth something. It, I, first of all, I thought of pregnancy and then I thought, well, you can be pregnant with just about anything. You, be, you can be pregnant with a creative project. You can be pregnant with waiting for things to move ahead in life or emotionally or creatively, you know, just in, in any way whatsoever just waiting for something to just spring forward and you might have been waiting for this to happen all year you're being asked to stay in a place of expectancy but not just in in a place of expectancy because that the, there's something almost passive about that you're being asked to expect the very best is what i'm hearing expect the very best 
even if you've had to wait for a while and you've had to spend more time on the preparation phase than you might have liked, it's really important for you to still hold firm in the vision that really good positive things can come rather than starting to see any delays as a sign that oh maybe I'm not on the right path or maybe it's not going to happen so let's see what you're manifesting over the next six months intuition triumph fantastic okay partnerships and alliances rest and rejuvenate okay so you need to trust the guidance that your intuition is giving you. So I really feel that there's something happening here in terms of having expected a certain outcome, not having seen it immediately, and again, like I said in the beginning, starting to turn that into a negative thing. But deep down inside, you already know the answer. You already know that something is happening under the surface that's actually just taking a bit longer because it needs to take a bit longer because it's very much like the birthing process. So, you know, if you don't go to full term, there can be all sorts of defects. And, you know, I know this sounds strange, maybe, but, you know, when you're when you're carrying a child, that child needs to go to full term in order for it to be healthy and strong and well developed, perfectly formed, all of these things. And it's the same sometimes with a creative project, even with a relationship, with an emotional longing, with because I feel that this is emotional for some of you, um, but with a work project as well, with anything at all that you're wanting to bring into the world, that you're wanting to see come to fruition, wanting to see birthed on the physical plane. Um, there is a period where you have to naturally just be patient and just expect that the best is happening and that it's happening in divine and perfect timing. So trust your intuition about that because you've been down this road before where you've been hoping for a particular thing. It's taken a bit longer than you would have hoped, but it's turned out okay in the end. So just keep trusting that. Trust what you know because right next to that you've got triumph which tells me that it's literally exactly as you hope it's going to be, but it's just not yet. So um, just keep just keep going forward with that positivity, with that positive expectancy. Also, there are partnerships and alliances that you haven't explored yet or that are already around you that you're hoping are going to be are going to work out really well. So it's possible that your expectancy needs to be positive towards these groups and alliances as well. As long as you also take on board that, you know, if it's a partnership, both sides need to play their part so if one if you or the other person or the other group of people isn't really playing a full part or a significant part it might be relevant for you to look into that over the next six months or so and just clarify everyone's aims and intentions it might be time for you to actually initiate a new partnership it might be that you really need to reach out to someone or that you need to accept the help from someone uh, that's being offered by someone else who's reaching out to you i do feel that partnerships and alliances uh, are going to work out better than you expect them to so and this is where the expectancy card comes in again. It's a lot better than you think. So if there are delays, if things have been held up for a little while, trust that you're, trust what you're being told about that and just breathe, you know, chill, be calm. <laughs> it's going to be fine. And you've, you've also got rest and rejuvenate. So it could be that some of you have been, um, again, just pushing too hard for things, just just worrying too much, just overcomplicating things and it's important for you to rest and recharge. You could have been in a little bit of a battle to do with work, to do with career, to do with wanting to get something off the ground or even emotionally, financially I've just heard for some people. So just give yourself time to rest, rejuvenate and come back to what you're doing with a more productive mindset. It's going to be time for you to really take off over the next six months. And then you'll be able to... Brilliant. OK, so if you were asking whether this project or something that you've started is good, is positive, then it looks as if you've got a yes. Once again, trust yourself. 
don't give up your power trust your intuition that's really important most important thing but i really feel that a lot of this does depend on you staying positive and just trusting that what you've started can actually be completed so for some people there is an issue of worthiness do you actually feel that you deserve what's about to come do you actually feel ready for it are you open to it? Do you have any past conditioning that's telling you, oh, this isn't going to work out? Anything, you know, nothing is going to work out for you. Anything you do is is just, you know, doomed for disaster. Is there a part of you, is there anywhere within you a sense that you're just waiting for, you know, the sign that, oh, it's I was I was ridiculous to think this could work. So do some work on that, on really searching yourself and making sure that you do feel worthy, that you do feel ready to receive the good things that are coming and you will be able to make just about anything happen. For some of you it is a question of productivity, for some of it you, you need to make sure that you're putting all the work in that you need to put in because you've got a great big yes from the universe in response to anything, any effort that you put in over the next six months. You know, it doesn't matter about what's come before. It doesn't matter about any delays that have happened up till now. This feels like a turning point. But the thing that I keep coming back to is this worthiness. You really need to make sure that you do any work you need to do on yourself to, to feel that you're worthy of all good things that are trying to come to you. You also have strengthen your faith, which is perfect to go along with worthiness, isn't it? Strength and expectancy as well. Strengthen your faith so that you can stay positive even when you can't see signs that things are happening. Something's always happening underground. Things are always moving. Free yourself from pain. Well, there, that's really an answer to that. I mean, you know, strengthen your faith worthiness and free yourself from pain. I feel for some of you this is a childhood issue. This is a habit of being in pain. This is a habit of expecting bad things to come. This is a habit of feeling like whenever I get happy or whenever I expect too much from life or whenever I think feel things are going too well, something bad's always bound to happen. So there is definitely a need to do some work with someone on that. So free yourself from that, but also free yourself from anything in the past that's, that you feel might have a hold on you. Nothing has a hold on you now. You're free. You're absolutely free to go ahead. Trust your intuition about that as well. You've got the page of Michael. Okay, interesting, an exciting challenge. You could also have a situation where you're concerned about someone that you've been involved with recently, possibly something that you're breaking away from, something that's making you feel unsafe. But remember that if there's a relationship that's making you feel unsafe, it's only because it's triggering memories of past patterns, past things that you've experienced and things that you could um, you might need to heal in the present. So let go of those. Don't worry about those. Don't get caught up in any drama because drama is another way of repeating pain. And the Eight of Michael, yeah, again, you know, this is traditionally the Eight of Swords. So it's that feeling of being trapped, but that's always a feeling that just exists in our minds. So I feel that this is a perfect opportunity for you to free yourself. If you've picked this pile, it's telling you that everything that's, that is holding you back right now is to do with your attitude. It's not real. Whether you've actually been trapped in the past or felt trapped in the past or, or you know, just been trapped in your own mind, it's time now for you to actually release all of that and step forward. Okay, King of Ariel, great. King of Pentacles, because you can be successful, stable, accomplished and powerful. The plans that you're putting in motion now, everything that you've started up recently, it, even if it's been started up over the last couple of years ago, but particularly things that you've started this year, or that you've become really purposeful about this year. I feel for some people it will have been things going back three years ago that you initiated, you had the idea, and maybe that's why there's some frustration and some disappointment. That you think, oh, you know, when are the delays going to stop? When is it going to just go forward? For some of you, it will have been that sort of period. But if you've really set your new intentions for this year and you are determined for it to at least show a glimmer of success, I feel over this, the next six months, you will have a sense that you can actually become accomplished in the way that you want to 
in this in that period and the last card oh brilliant the delays that you've got strength the delays that you've experienced have been there to strengthen you and all of the doubts and all of the insecurities and the pain that you've been through that has all been there to strengthen you as well so take it all move ahead with it allow it to change everything you do and the way you look at things and to see that you are still here you're still strong you're still capable and with the right attitude you can do just about anything at this point you you know i'm not going to say oh you know it's all going to be magical and fair it is going to be amazing but only dependent on your attitude because your attitude will govern your ability to keep moving ahead in the right way and Remember, if you approach someone with an attitude of things, thinking things are going to fail, and this isn't even vibrational, this is just purely in terms of the signals that people pick up from you and the way that you stand, the way that you move, the way that you speak to them. If you approach people as if you're, something's going to fail, they're going to take that on. So take your strength, you know, see yourself as a lion or lioness who can achieve anything and trust that you can at the very least become accomplished, successful, stable in a in a powerful professional sense and at the best you can actually make some of your wishes come true. You had the, the wish card here, make a wish. But let, let's just keep it real for now and stay focused on the action, stay focused on that positive expectancy and move ahead and it's going to be a fantastic six months for you. Okay, number two, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see what we have for group number three. Okay, group number three, your angel is depth. Wow. Okay. So you're going to be looking at something in greater depth over the next six months and it's going to allow, going to allow you to clarify your aims, your dreams, your ambitions. This is what I'm hearing and your goals for 2020. You're going to go into greater depth within yourself. You're going to figure out who you are, what you really want and what you came here to be, who you came here to be, what you came here to do. And all right, let's have a look at where you've been so far. Obstacles and challenges, you've had to overcome a great deal of them, but you are now connected to divine inspiration, wonderful inspiration that comes through that you know you couldn't have achieved if you hadn't come through these obstacles and challenges. Victory and success over the next six months. Sacrifice, okay, so that's the hanged man. Maybe you're in a position at the moment where you're feeling yeah okay you need to clarify things you are things are sort of in the balance a little bit still it's almost as if you're at a crossroads it's almost as if you've you feel as if you've still got decisions to make even though you felt you knew what you wanted at the beginning of the year it's as if there's a lot of shift a lot of things changing it's almost like I'm not even the person I was last week I don't even know how do I know what I want I don't even know who I am so lots of changes because you know this to me looks like a lot of spiritual spiritual growth, spiritual awakening in quite a short period of time, rapid awakenings, realizations, overcoming these obstacles and challenges has brought you to a kind of spiritual awakening, but you've overcome it, victory and success are on the way, but this period that you're, you're in now is just giving you pause to reflect and to clarify your aims. You've got consult an expert, so it might be good for you, good time for you to have some coaching, to have some mentoring, or to just speak to someone about, uh, you know, to get some advice, maybe about starting up a new venture, maybe about something that's um, come as a result of your recent changes, awakenings, the inspiration that you're receiving. I keep being drawn back to this card, the Crown Chakra card. It feels really important at the moment. And if you've been having any issues with sleeplessness, with headaches, um, with, with ringing in the ears, things like that, for some of you that will be relevant right now because it's definitely a question of connecting with the crown chakra and receiving more downloads, downloads, <laughs> more downloads, more awakening, more inspiration. And that is going to help you with this crossroads that you're on, with this path, this, whatever it is that you're trying to figure out at the moment. So consulting an expert could also mean connecting with your guides. It could mean, you know, going in words and, and figuring out how to meditate so that you can receive more inspiration. It could mean going to a physical expert. Father healing. You've got treasure chest. 
synchronicity and discover your sparkle and experience peace and calm. Wow, amazing. This is just such an incredible reading vibrationally. Really powerful. So for some of you, you have some issues that you need to heal with a male energy. It could be a father. It could be to do with your past. It could be to do with feeling distanced, feeling some kind of fragmentation or just something that needs healing in the family to do with a father or a male figure. It could be to do with um, a boss or someone in authority. It could be to do with a, a relationship. It could be to do with um, just a tendency to to see men in relationships in a fatherly way and needing to heal that, something like that, needing to take your power back, needing to trust yourself again, needing to get back in in a place of being the father of your own destiny, if you like, that's kind of the way it felt. And then this will bring to you something really magical that's going to help to facilitate your journey a bit more. So it could be that there is some abundance coming to you as a result of you embodying this power, or it could be literal. It could be something to do with healing a relationship with a father and therefore being able to discuss things, being able to, to you know, come to some sort of agreement. Maybe for some of you, you'll be starting a business with a father or with a father figure or someone who's a head of a company or, you know, someone who's who has a lot of um, experience in business. But when it comes down to it, what it's saying is that there is something at a very deep level that needs healing about this male energy. And it's something that you need to balance within yourself in order for you to become fully empowered. When you embody that energy fully, then you will get your treasure. Then you will see all the results of, you know, all the success that you're hoping for. Over the next six months, you're going to actually see a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities. I feel for some of you, that's already started. Something is trying to show you the way. It could be that you lost a, fa a parent lost a father and and because you because you felt bound up in that unresolved issues you know lack of self forgiveness not being able to say goodbye properly any number of things that you have actually not allowed yourself to be happy or to receive your treasure that's another vibration that this that could express this particular layout and you're coming into a point now where you're coming into a place of spiritual maturity where you're going to finally allow yourself to get the goodies allow yourself to feel worthy to feel deserving of having fun of having abundance of being in divine flow alignment of sparkling of doing something that's fun and that makes you radiant and that makes you an inspiration to others you know being able to kick up your heels a bit and you know if you've been really sort of down in the doldrums in the dumps kind of going through things and and wanting to emerge onto a bigger stage i feel for some people you know when i see this rediscover your sparkle card sometimes that makes me think of you know you need to do some energy clearing you need to get your radiance back this is coming from a spiritual perspective what do you need to clear how do you need to raise your vibration but sometimes it's it's more superficial it's more external than that it's to do with wanting to be dazzling and exciting and fun and, and show your brilliance, you know, show your brilliance, show your talents to the world, show yourself, show who you are at your essence, at your core. So for some people, you've been hiding away a talent, you've been hiding away a gift, and you've been thinking, oh, I don't know if I want, and it's connected with this father energy somehow, and this feeling of being undeserving or being locked away inside yourself. And it's time for you to re-emerge, to open up that treasure. The treasure actually for some people is you. It's all the divine gifts in you. It's real gold. It's spiritual gold. It's creative gold. It's talent gold. It's all the gifts and the treasures of your soul, your spirit of who you are, rather than, you know, a physical material thing. For some, it will be material. But for others, it will just be rediscovering the magic that you have inside you and being given an opportunity to share it with the world, to show it to the world. So the next six months, for some of you, it's going to be a question of coming out of the cupboard that you were hiding away in or the basement or the room 
you know, trapped in front of a laptop and actually getting your dance shoes on or, um, you know, getting your music out in front of people or, you know, just I'm seeing images, lots of images like that, like pulling the curtain back and there you are, you know, sparkling, radiant, because you've got two of these sparkling cards here. You've got Discover Your Sparkle, you've got Experience Peace and Calm, but if you look at the picture, it's water, it's radiant, sparkling water. For some people, it's going to be explorations in water. It's going to be, um, you know, maybe going to water, spending time by water, oceans, waterfalls, you know, just being at the beach. It might be a holiday, it might be a travel adventure that brings you to water. It might be looking at healing modalities that involve water and helping other people to clear their energy or to rejuvenate themselves with living waters I'm hearing as well. So it, it, there are several possibilities here and you know there is something about this group, there is a flow here, there's something about this energy. You've got dolphins here as well in the synchronicity card. There's something about water and being in the flow and trusting and brilliance and emotion as well, emotion. Do what feels good to you. If you're asking questions about what you're supposed to be doing, there are certain things that you do that light you up, that put you in your flow, that make you sparkle and shine and that bring you peace and calm. Do that. <laughs> okay. And you've got Ten of Michael. And in this deck, look at this, the swan on the stage. I don't know if you can see that properly. She's taking a bow. This looks like Swan Lake. So, you know, you're you're coming out there now onto the world stage and allowing yourself to be seen. Uh, traditionally, the Ten of Swords, which means coming to the end of a really dark, horrible period. And, you know, it very much could be where you've locked yourself away, you you haven't wanted to show your gifts. And I, I feel quite emotional looking at this because it's almost as if it's taken a lifetime to get here. And that's the next six months for you. Enjoy, celebrate. Okay, you've got the Nine of Raphael, make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So because we're into the cups area, I, I mean, I'm just looking at all this. It's all very emotional. It's all very time, perfect timing for you to express yourself, express your gifts. It's never too late. Okay, and uh, some emotional quality to that, uh, like real emotional fulfillment, okay, and joy and happiness that comes from doing something creative, connecting with your true self, your true essence. You've also got the Queen of Raphael, and queens quite often are um, connected to projects that we're starting up, where we feel we are in the process. So, you know, just trust the process that you're in. If you've awakened to something recently and you've decided, okay, I need to do this, I need to show this to the world, then trust it. It doesn't matter, if, you know, if you're not a performer, a singer, a dancer, or any of those things. It could be a book, it could be painting, it could be drawing, it could be a business, it could be anything at all. It could be something totally technical, but it's time to show your true essence to the world. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So the Queen of Raphael, the Queen of Cups, just very emotional, very in touch with your feelings, just flowing with love and joy and just bringing that to the world, however that happens for you. And then, wow, the Ace of Michael, the Ace of Swords, a fantastic, powerful new beginning, directed, divinely guided and bang on, bang on target in every way, a wonderful new idea. So don't be thrown off course. Trust yourself and trust the process that you're going to be going through in the next six months. I've just heard six to eight months. So, you know, don't rush it. Do it well to the best of your ability. But the momentum is building. Once we get through this Mercury retrograde, you know, you could be preparing things behind the scene now really quietly, not saying very much. Oh, it's just going to go like a rocket when you get out of this retrograde and you start moving forward. So I hope you enjoyed that group three. Let's see what we've got for number four. Okay, number four, group four, your angel is obedience. <gasps> okay, I love that because that's really clear. Obedience to your intuition, obedience to your inner guidance, obedience to yourself, to your higher calling, to what you really feel. You know, don't look for all the answers outside yourself. I feel that that's what you're going to be learning over the next six months. So let's use that as a guiding principle. You've got the sacral chakra, discontent and boredom, passion ignited. See, this all makes perfect sense already. 
you've got sacral chakra which is all about creativity and you've got passion ignited which is traditionally um this would be the ace of uh, wands which is all about creativity creative beginnings so obedience to yourself trust yourself you've also got the ace of cups so wow this is very much about being in your heart the reason that you're you've been feeling bored and discontented and annoyed with people and a bit sort of i don't know ratty and um unbalanced for some people, scatty, forgetful, is because you're not happy about your about the work that you're doing or there's something that is missing. So I'm not telling people to leave their jobs or do anything crazy, but something needs to be acknowledged in your life. You need to express yourself creatively as well as what you're doing. It's up to you whether it's instead of what you're doing. But there's something missing here and you're going to need to acknowledge it and take it on board for you to be happy in the next six months or so. OK, so that's your that's your main theme, obedience and trusting your creative journey and what brings your heart to life. What really this is a start for you as well, actually. For some of you, it's a start in a relationship. For some of you, it's a Oh, you've got these two cards. You've got passion ignited and love begins together side by side. So for some of you, it really is going to be about a really passionate, exciting, amazing relationship. So let's just look a bit deeper. Oh, you've got music for manifesting. So some of you, it will be something musical. Some of you, it will be finding a way to use music to manifest what you want. So you could be chanting. You could be dancing, doing a, a sort of... Um, you know, dance, trance, dance thing to manifest. Anything that moves energy and that puts you into a different, a high vibrational state can be used for manifestation. So for some of you, it will be music, but don't take it literally. It could also be that um, you will just be using music as a way to become much more calm, much more in balance. And if you've been very tense about things, very holding on to, to things that you want to create, holding on in an unproductive way, music could be the thing that helps you to relax. So maybe some people need to get out there and go dancing or go and see a concert or, or just listen to music more at home. And that will put you into a more right, relaxed state that will be more conducive to manifesting what you want because when you're relaxed it shows that you're trusting it shows the universe that you're trusting your energy is open it's expanded and you can allow good things to come to you so and you've also got watch your thoughts you've got these two side by side so but it's interesting that you've got music for manifesting on top of the creativity card and you've got watch your thoughts on top of discontent and boredom so if you are bored with what you're doing the way to get out of that is to shift your state by using something beautiful and creative like music or dance and don't dwell in that space don't dwell on it because that will just make you even more frustrated just find you know put aside a little bit of time for those things and it will lift you out of the energy of whatever it is you're doing even if you're working full-time nine to five if you go out dancing one night a week I promise you it can be life-changing or go and see some music or whatever it is so You've also got self-employment. You, if you chose this group, it's quite likely that you are a person who needs to be self-employed now. Uh, you could already be self self-employed or you could be considering it. It could be that you're feeling bored and frustrated because you've had to get a job or you've you've found yourself in a job or you've been in a job for a long time that you re that is just frustrating the heck out of you for various reasons and it's just not right for you. You could be self-employed and doing something that you're bored with. It could just be time for a change. So you've got self-employment over passion ignited. So Maybe, I'm just suggesting, it could be time for you to think of ways to combine your creative passions with some kind of a business, some kind of work. You will receive help. You are receiving help. And I feel that this help is through signals, through signs, through showing you what you love, through showing you who you are, just little things that just grab your interest every now and again and just light you up and you think, oh yeah, I remember, I love doing that. And maybe there's something in that that's going to lead you, lead the way to a new passion in work and business. You've got inhale a breath of life. 
learn to scan your body nine of michael nine of swords and nine of ariel nine of pentacles wow brilliant okay so obedience if you're obedient your intuition you will come to a place of abundance you will come to a place of independence that's really what you're looking for right now if you chose this group you're wanting to be self motivated you're wanting to be self-governing you're wanting to be the master of your own fate you're wanting to be on your own time and working in your own way in a way that feeds you and in a way that doesn't constrict you and that isn't boring something that's fulfilling you really want to step onto your divine path we've got here learn to scan your body so what that tells me is that for some of you in this group there's a sense that what you're feeling what you're sensing, what the things that are making you, uh, throwing you off balance or making you doubt yourself or making you feel you can't do it or making you change your mind every few minutes, that's not your energy. I feel, when I see this card, I often think, oh, there are empaths around here because you've picked up energies from other people that either cause confusion in you or that bring you down, make you doubt yourself, make you feel depressed when it's not really your depression, make you feel hopeless. So if you feel, if you notice any of those things, sudden changes in your energy, sudden changes in your mood when you woke up feeling great, you felt fine, you felt really positive, you knew you could do it, you knew this was the way to go. Yeah, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a success of it. And then suddenly, like you're in someone's company for half an hour and you feel hopeless again. You feel like, oh, what, what, what was I thinking? Oh, it's not for me. So um, notice those things, pay attention to those things and learn to scan your, your body, scan your energy and clear your energy and minimise your time with anyone who makes you doubt your, yourself or your path at the moment. And, you know, I don't, I'm not one for saying, oh, get rid of this person, get rid of that person. I think we have to be a, little, a bit more kind of conscious and compassionate than that. But sometimes we are more compassionate to ourselves by when we're trying to make a big decision, when we're trying to gain clarity about something, we sometimes need to step back from, from the crowd, especially if you're an empath and you pick up on everything that's going around. Sometimes you need to just step back and say, OK, I need some time to just go inside, to be alone with what I'm really, really feeling. And in fact, sometimes all you need to do is commit to daily meditation so that you can get that clarity and hold on to that clarity no matter what's going on around you so that's obedience as well meditation will teach you obedience to yourself to your higher self but it's not a strict obedience it's more okay now I can connect and hear what my higher self is actually saying I can hear what my guidance is telling me I can hear what's actually in my heart rather than what's flying around in the general fear consciousness or you know the the thoughts of people who are worried about me or who think you know certain things are not possible or I'm being unrealistic or it failed for them so why should it work for me or whatever motivations there are if you have that obedience and you do those things and you take time and breathe look you've got learn to scan your body right next to take time inhale a breath of life so you need to stop and breathe and meditate you need a daily meditation practice to help you move ahead and then you will come through to this place of feeling independent i feel for some of you this thing of the work situation is causing sleepless sleepless nights you've got the nine of michael which is the nine of swords which is worry you know needless worry stress people you know other people's thoughts and energies and agendas keeping you awake at night and wondering about this and wondering about that and worrying about the other and just feeling a little bit fragile i'm hearing some people are feeling a little bit fragile and really need to meditate to help with that as well and then you will come to a place where you can feel that strength within you and start to trust your own unique vision of how you can become more independent going into the future so over the next six months for you the main theme is going to be about giving yourself time learning to clear your energy learning to get clear about who you are and what you want and meditating and being obedient to what you feel and trust and know in those times when you allow yourself to connect with yourself and then you've got <gasps> wow 
<laughs> Brilliant. Okay, that's a great reward for all of that. You've got the Ten of Ariel, which is the Ten of Pentacles, which is real legacy. Leg it, so this card sort of reminds me of the Tenth House because that's about um, accomplishment and legacy and achievement in the world. The Ten of, of Pentacles, it's not just, you know, getting a project off the ground or having a little bit of wealth or holding on to your money or any of those things that you see along the way in the suit. It's the ultimate in the suit. When you get to the Ten, you've got legacy, you've got wealth, you've got something to hand on to your children, the people you love. You've got things that you can share with people, you can be abundant, you can be calm and assured within yourself and you've got the nine and the ten together so it shows that there is a progression, there is something that you have. If you've chosen this group you've got a very good idea that you could actually build on and grow over the next six months but it's going to take more than that period to really see it come to fruition and I've just, my mind, uh, uh, my guides have just drawn my mind and uh, my eyes my attention to the 10 so it could be 10 months it could be a bit longer than six months but over the next six months you can start building that if you trust yourself and stop being misguided by every passing thought and current and wave that's going by great and then you've got you've got the queen of swords which is knowing exactly what you need to do this is someone who has experience who has knowledge, who trusts herself. She doesn't take any nonsense. She doesn't listen to the voices outside herself. She she has that inner obedience and that's why she's a queen. That's why she's achieved uh, success. But it's not just about being a queen, being royalty or any of that stuff. It's about being having sovereignty over your own life and selfhood. Real sovereignty, real inner guidance and abundance and you know, this kind of wealth only really comes from doing that sometimes. You know, people who are most successful at some point have had to cut. That's what that sword is for. They've had, they've had to cut away, cut away, cut away. Don't be afraid to cut away at any external noise that's been distracting you. And whatever form that noise comes in, if it's not a positive sound that says to you, you can do this, I got you. I believe in you. Yes, it's okay. Then you need to eliminate those noises. So you need to put that on the back burner and surround yourself with really positive messages. For some people, because they're taking me back to the music for manifesting, it will be a question of using guided meditations or um, affirmations, or it could be using uh, subliminal um mp3s whatever so things that you can play in the background while you're working or while you're sleeping you know when you're drifting off to sleep at night so in other words surround yourself with positive messages and cut away at anything else um, that isn't positive that isn't supporting you trust your inner voice your inner guidance about what's possible and you will move into this abundance. Now, we did say at the beginning that there was possibly a new involvement, a new romance, a new emotional connection. I feel that that is still possible because they, they've brought my attention back to that as well. And I feel that whatever happens now, it needs to be something that supports you on your journey. I feel there is something for many who've chosen this group they they've come to a place of maturity and understanding about what they want about what works for them in terms of relationships and who you want to have around they've come to this queen of swords place so they're very clear about what they're looking for so the next partner you know the next person to come in the next energy to come in i feel your judgment is going to be much better you're going to have much more clarity and it's going to be much easier for you to see that in a partner do they have my back? Are they in my corner with me? Are they looking out at the world and going forward? Or are they going to be nitpicking and trying to control and, and contain me? You know, you're going to have much more clarity. So I feel that there is a divine counterpart partnership coming in for some people who chose this that could possibly help them on this goal, you know, on the way to this. But regardless of that, your goal is to be empowered to be on your own journey, to be out there in the world, achieving it, doing it for yourself, and then 
if you meet a partner who comes into that space with you, great. This isn't someone who comes to fix it for you or make it happen for you. But I do feel that all of that is possible and it is wonderful because this, this card always comes with not just wealth and abundance, but it's like beautiful family situation and connections and relationships that work really well and, and just people getting on and feeling that they're cared for and their needs are met and you've got time to go off and, you know, and have coffee with people and just chill out or whatever, you know. So, um, yeah, you've got time and space to just really relax and enjoy yourself and pamper yourself and be with people you love and just spend time um, just just living and enjoying life so that's your next six months for group four sounds amazing I hope you enjoyed that reading and um, yeah good luck with everything all the links are below for all the cards that I've used and for how to contact me if you want to work with me or book a reading and thank you once again for listening take care I'll speak to you soon bye